Hi everyone, the Kinetic here. So I thought I'd make a video that talks about some tips I have for you guys uh, if you're struggling with climbing with Galio, some things that you might do wrong that you can do to improve your chance of winning in, in ranked solo queue. So yeah, I'm just gonna jump right into it. So the first tip I wanna give you guys is don't force your roams. And I think this is a big one for almost every roaming champion in the game. Uh, so what I mean by this is that a lot of people will, for example, they will take teleport and they will teleport bot lane level three. They will roam over and over and over to lanes where not you don't necessarily need to go to. And that will not always uh, give you the result you're looking for. So I call that the 50-50 roaming. And 50-50 roaming is um, well, it's, it's a 50-50% chance that you get something out of it. And most of the time, what that means is that the 50% of the time where you don't get anything, um, that's going to cost you the game and you're going to end up with a 50% win rate. So see if you can just, instead of forcing your roams, stay in lane and make sure that you get every single CS, push your lane, make sure you have the river warded and sweep uh, with your sweeper, right? And and then you can start looking for lanes to, to go to. So be more calculating with your roams. Don't try to just roam, roam, roam because you think that's gonna win the game. It's not what's gonna win you the game most consistently, but that's point two. So for point two, I, I would say you should prioritize your CS and XP. And this is sort of a big point. Uh, basically it goes for the entirety of the game. So early game, Try and prioritize your CS. Make sure you get all the XP from all the minions, especially early on when it matters the most. Um, <clears throat> so a good tip to do this in the early game is always back when the cannon wave is approaching your lane. That means you lose the least amount of minions. Uh, but this also extends to the mid and late game. Don't just sit in your uh, mid lane with your entire team and, and look for things. Go to the side lane. Uh, go bot, go top, clear the waves, take a jungle camp. You know, you gotta continuously look to get as much CS and XP as you can. Galio works the best when you have a lot of gold and a lot of levels. That makes you a really huge threat and you can one-shot people and you can carry team fights handily. So always try and prioritize that. And a good tip for the mid and late game is always go side lane. But because I don't run TP, I'm always gonna side lane only one lane away from my team so if for example if my team is pushing mid i'm going to be either top or bot but if they're pushing top lane i'm going to be mid i can't be bot lane because then i can't ult if they're in trouble but always make sure if there's a lane that nobody's farming you can go there you can pick up the cs and that's going to give you a huge edge in those team fights in the late game for baron or dragon or whatever so now tip number three is consciously think about what lanes you gank and this is really important because a lot of people will just gank bot lane over and over and over. So let's say you've pushed your lane and you really have control of the river. Uh, there are no wards and you're now looking for a lane to gank. Now, generally speaking, bot lane is a good lane to gank because you have the potential of putting two people ahead and you have the potential of dragon. But a lot of the times, even if your bot lane is really fed, if the enemy top laner is a Camille and she just one shots your AD carry every fight, then you know it hasn't really been worth it so what i'd say is look at your top lane as well it's really important if your top laner is playing a bruiser or juggernaut style champion this means darius camille uh fiora ribbon etc if they play those kinds of champions i would suggest you gank top lane as much as you can because having those champs on your team and having them fed usually means you win the game so Think about not just going bot lane, try to go top as well if you have a snowballing top laner and that's gonna win you a lot of games. So for tip number four, I would say you should flank more. And flanking, I also mean ambushing. And so <clears throat> this is really important because a lot of the times what people will do is they will run in a straight line towards the enemy team and they will get peeled off because Galio is you know, even with Spellbinder, he can't be peeled off with CC. So, flanking is your best tool for avoiding these kinds of fights. 
So what I would say is get your sweeper and try and do a long way. If the, your team is doing dragon, run the other way around the pit with your sweeper and see if you can sandwich the enemy team. If there's a fight coming up, walk into the enemy jungle and sit there with your sweeper. Look for their uh, AD carry taking red buff, their jungler, anything to give you a big advantage uh, for the dragon fight. Bonus points if you get your team with you in there. Uh, but yeah, flank fights and then flash over walls and insta kill someone. Flank them to sandwich people. Try and ambush people as much as you can and use that sweeper. Use pink horse and sweeper to get a vision advantage and then use that to pick up kills. Really, really important. That's going to make it so that you never really fight 5v5. You never have to face them head on. You can just sneak around, get those picks, and you will eventually just take objectives uncontested. So do that as much as you can. Now for tip number five, I will say build Magi's. Now a lot of people don't build this item ever, and that's a huge mistake in my opinion. If you're fed as Galio, and you don't even have to be fed, if you're ahead on Galio, I've had games where I had like a 3-1-7 score, but I had 21 stacks of my Medjais, right? So if you're in a game with Galio where you're ahead and you're fairly sure that you're not going to die that much, getting an early Medjais, actually, it's, it's really broken, right? You can get something like, again, if I am 3-1-7 and, and I have 21 stacks, that means I have something like... Uh, 125 AP, I think, from, from Metzi's for only 1400 gold, plus 200 mana, plus 10% movement speed. Number six is prepare for the level three scuttle fight. And let's take a look at the scenario like this. So you're playing Galio mid lane, your jungler is Lee Sin, he starts red, and the enemy jungler is Rek'Sai, he starts blue. And once you realize that Rek'Sai is starting blue, you know that they're going to eventually converge on the skull crap. And of course you want your jungler to win the scuttle fight, so you're going to prepare for that. Uh, and how do you do that the most effectively? Uh, and the way I do it is, you want your wave to be pushed in at 315. If you can do that so that the wave crashes under her tower around that time, you can secure at least one if not two scuttle crabs for your jungler. And maybe even get a kill on the enemy jungler when he's trying to contest in river. And the way you do this most reliably is by using this wave configuration, which means the first wave is slow push, then you shove. Once you've shoved the wave and it crashes, it's going to reset back into a normal state. Then you're going to slow push the third cannon wave, and then you shove the fourth wave, and that sort of coincides with around 310, 315, and then you can go out once the two junglers here are on the move for scuttle crap, you can actually join them, and Akali is forced to stay under her tower. This is really effective because you might even get a kill and you'll at least make sure that Lee Sin gets the scuttle crap here. And uh, who knows, he can even go for the next one if you if you get a kill on Rek'Sai or maybe you can even have bot lane help him and he'll get a double scuttle advantage which is really huge for a jungler like Lee Sin. So, um, you can do this in a lot of matchups. Some matchups it would be hard to, to do this configuration because they have a lot of wave clear but most champions can't deal with Galio's wave clear early. So try and see if you can, you can do this and prepare for the scuttle fight and that's going to win you a lot of game because by just getting those two scuttles, even just getting a kill on the enemy jungler, he's going to be really tilted because Akali did not rotate and so you're going to get a big advantage for that. <clears throat> now for the seventh tip and, and that's a really important one, I say build spellbinder. So <clears throat> spellbinder is actually a like it's a really interesting item. Uh, there was some research from the University of Demacia uh, that came out last week and it actually found that Galio players who build this item, they see an increase in up to 20 IQ points. And that's quite substantial actually. Um, so yeah, uh, but like for real, it's a really insane item. You love it, it uh, makes Galio super strong, super early, takes away a lot of his weaknesses and yeah, it's just broken. So, build Spellbinder and you will see some results. <clears throat> and now for, that was the seven tips, but I have one more tip for you guys, and that is uh, watch my videos. So thanks for watching guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the tips and, and put them to use in, the, uh, in your solo queue games. And keep an eye out for more videos in the future, I have some in the pipeline, um, so stay tuned for that. I'll see you around and good luck on the rift.